Hello team, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Yurish Kumar Singh and you are watching UFT tutorial series. So in this series today we will be talking about the file content checkpoint which is another tutorial checkpoint on UFT which basically allows you to verify a content of a file and these files uh, what UFT can support are from from various ranges for example it can verify html pdf word or you know rtf or text document so any of these five supported formats can be very well utilized for this checkpoint and this generally uh, verifies that if the content what has been mentioned as a part of the report or any such document has been modified or not or it can also be further used to create certain standards like if it is, has generated a file during the runtime, then the file has the desired format in the template what you have selected or not. So let's uh, uh, understand more in detail about the same, which will help you to understand that how exactly these checkpoints can be useful when it comes to uh, understanding of the checkpoints, which are really good enough to explore on the documentation side as well. Generally, when you talk about the earlier versions of uh, UFT, this was not a part of it, and it has recently been added as a part of 11.5, which is a newly added checkpoint. So if you're working in QTP from a long time, you would understand that it was not a part of it. So let's get started with the same. And uh, here we have got a new test again to use the same. And uh, all you have to do is go to design menu, come to the checkpoint, and you have a file content checkpoint. So I've used some uh, template here, uh, which is a HP Quick Test Professional document, and uh, I'm just opening it. But before I open, let me just quickly show you that what kind of formats can be supported here. So if you see all supported format is like PDF, HTML, RTF, text file, Word document. So these are the five formats which you can get confirmed with, which UFT can support. So this is a doc file and uh, we are having the content here so this is how it will pop up and uh, state to you that uh, these are the various lines on each page so first it will show you the page number and each line number what you want to verify and then other pages as well so you can just decide on which line and which pages to test or create a checkpoint for so say for example i just select the pages all the lines and say okay let, let's check everything whatever is mentioned here and uh, click on just say OK, which is going to check the entire document here and say OK on that and click to add the step. Now all you have to do is simply run the test which will just confirm that it has passed all the content in the document has the same because as of now we just added the step and we have not done any modification. So yes, the status is passed. Just drop down and see what we have here. OK, it says match case on, check number of lines is 194 and everything has been put up correctly. So your test checkpoint has passed. Now just to fail the same thing, let's move to the file and open the file to just uh, modify a bit. So I'm just going to remove few of the lines from here, maybe like, you know, just three lines from here. And uh, save, because that's to check the effect. Uh, no, save, because the reason is save a copy, it will require the checkpoint to be added once again. So now we are having the same expected, but the actual has been modified. So let's run the same and see how the fail result appears for a file content checkpoint. All right, it's very quick and fast. That's what you call automation. And drop down here, the checkpoint says it is failure. So you come here and uh, then you see that checked lines 194, changes found uh, in 105 changes found all lines 140 what does that even mean so generally what happens like as I've deleted then out of 194 they have shifted up and uh, the changes have taken from line number six so it's highlighting from there and then on if you see like sorry line number nine there are four lines which have been deleted and generally they have shifted up so here is the actual file what do you see and there is the expectation which was uh, required to be done and these are the four lines which have been in color pink has been deleted and modified and generally what has happened is like it has moved up so the modification has taken place into other lines as well and thus the 
you know the result will give you such detailed information what you really want to have when you deal with a file content check so that's from the uh, file content checkpoint in uft team uh, there's some more things to come up we have a lot of tutorials to understand uft there are a lot more topics we are still not in advance of uft so stay tuned for tutorials on uft and keep uh, learning keep exploring keep practicing if you have any queries you can always comment below to ask me that until then uh, thanks for watching team and happy learning